Welcome back to Land Plays. And previously on Pokemon Blue, uh, we did a lot of training, did a lot of trainer battles. We got a nugget and sold that for 5,000 cash. And uh, we're actually heading to Bill's house right now because everybody and their mom keeps talking about how great this quote unquote Bill guy is. So uh, we're going to go check him out. Could it be Bill Gates, the creator of Microsoft? I don't know, we're, but we're gonna go talk to him. So, but first we gotta battle Nidorans and Raditas, Pidgeys, Radicates, and Hyperfangs, Pidgeotas. I don't even, I don't even know Geodudes. But we gotta do it, man. There's no getting out of this. There's no getting out of all these trainer battles. Ugh, Nidorans. This is just horrible. Like, I'm really, I'm really just trying to think of like how I can make this commentary somewhat more interesting because after a while, it gets kind of. <laughs> I said it in my last video. It gets kind of repetitive. So I don't really know. Um, like at this point, do you guys want me to just read the text? I mean, like I'm still gonna read like what the characters have to say because the it, the, the lines are kind of quirky. Um, you know, I I like kind of commenting back and forth on like <laughs> what the characters would possibly like what they s might sound like or um, what their thought process is just really just entertaining to me but like during these battles it's like well Elizabeth grew to level 20 right there and that's pretty good um, I was in bad condition that's an excuse that's a horrible excuse that's what that's actually the excuse everybody makes when they lose so you're a big fat loser um, anyway, I had to go heal right there, because my Pokemon were looking pretty weak. Um, actually, so, since Elizabeth is growing close to, um, ah, oh crap, I forgot what level it was. It's like level 23, or something like that. It learns Body Slam at level 23. It was either 22 or 23. So, I gotta be aware of that, but it only learns Body, body Slam as a Nido Queen. So, um, and it doesn't get any moves, like, after that at all. I looked it up. It's, oh, it's got a pathetic move pool. Um, but it, it can learn a ton of TMs, so that's, like, the upside to catching one. And, uh, there's a ton of TMs you can buy and find in this game. So, you know, it's, don't worry about catching one. Like, don't worry about the move pool, because you can still get a good one. Uh, you also get TMs for, you know, beating gym leaders, and some of them actually give out pretty good ones. So, there's always that. Um, you know, I really want a Machop, though. Like, if I find one, I'm probably going to catch one and use it. Pretty sure they're on Cinnabar Island, but hopefully there's one before that, because that's kind of late in the game, and I don't want to train a Pokemon that's, like, super underlevel that late in the game. It's just, like, that's, that's the thing about Pokemon that's really tedious. You know, you'll see, like, a really, really cool Pokemon late in the game, but it's low level... You gotta train it all the way up to like in the 30s or 40s. That's just not cool, man. The uh, Pokemon's just, it's a tedious journey. You feel really good once once you've done it all and trained up your Pokemon like all the same levels. But uh, Anyway, we defeated the hiker. You got me. Yeah, dude, I so got you. You, you got wrecked is the better, that's the, the, the better way to put it. You get wrecked, dude. Um... Yeah, so I guess yeah, my Pokemon are all looking pretty nice now. Uh, I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Whoa! Everybody, stop what you're doing right now and and just pay attention to this guy. Right? Look at that swag. Look at those shoes. Those socks that go right above his ankles. He's got a girlfriend. He's a cool guy. Did you see that hat he was wearing? I bet he pulls all the babes and broads with his hat and and high socks. And shoes like that, dude. Did you see his shorts, dude? That's insane. That's insane. His shorts went above his knees, dude. Don't... If you're trying to get girls, don't cover your knees. That's not what you do, man. Like, never, ever cover your knees. Did you see he had a shirt tucked in, too? Button-down shirt with the belt. Make sure you have a belt on, because that... You can't take it off and, and spank girls... Uh, behinds with it you know that's how you get girls dude not really don't take anything I say seriously um, <laughs> that would actually get you thrown in prison depending on how old you are oh darn yeah dude I guess you're not so cool 
anyway, um, if you actually battle that guy like right there, if you make him walk over to you from that to that spot, it opens up this hole right here, and uh, it contains TM19, which is seismic toss, and it's a pretty decent move. Like right now, it's not so much, and that reason is because it does the same amount of damage that the Pokemon's level is. So if a Pokemon's level 25, it's gonna do like 25 hit points of damage. But if you're at like level, I don't know, 60 or something like that, like it helps way later on, like during the Elite Four fights. Um, if none of your Pokemon have like good moves to actually do decent damage to any of the Pokemon, it, you know, it's like a like a it's gonna do a dead set a, a dead set amount of damage each time. So it can be pretty useful. Um, it's more useful of a move in competitive battling. Like I don't know if anyone watching this plays Pokemon Showdown or actually battles competitively on a Nintendo DS, but um, you know what I'm talking about there because Seismic Toss is used a lot with like Blissey and Chansey um, and you know you know beefy Pokemon like that 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 are designed to actually heal the entire team um, and take you know special damage yeah you know, all that all that good stuff anyway we defeated this youngster and I knew I'd lose too he knew he would lose yet he still fought that's what I call bravery that's just like most people are cowards these days man that that's what I call bravery um, my friend has a cute Pokemon I'm so jealous so jealous OMG totes jealous she has a cute Pokemon what is it is it's a Jigglypuff isn't it I'm guessing either that or like a Clefairy. If I had to pick between the two, I would probably choose Clefairy because they came from the freaking moon. I mean, Jigglypuff's pretty cool because, you know, it has that marker that doodles on your face when you're asleep and gets mad at you. No, if you don't, because, cause, you know, she'll sing to you and then you'll fall asleep and she'll doodle on your face. That's I don't want Jigglypuff. That's horrible, actually. I don't want, like, drawings on my face trying to go to work or, like, school or something like that. And everybody's like, what's on your face, dude? Oh, Jigglypuff, like, drew all over it. Oh, wow, what a douche move, man. Oh, God, Jigglypuff. Yeah, I want Clefairy, because they're, like, really cute and fluffy. And they're from the moon. So, and I want to, like... I don't know if you guys saw the episode of Pokemon where all the Clefables, like... Or Clefairies evolve into Clefables or whatever. It was really weird. They all, like, dance around this big moon rock and, like... They did, did they travel back to the moon in that episode? I don't know. No, yeah, they all fly off to the moon. That's what it was. It was a really weird episode. Yeah. Ever since then, Clefairy hasn't really been in the Pokemon anime. Anyway, we defeated Glass. I'm not so jealous. Huh. That, that's great. That's, that's good not to be jealous, but... Um, it's also great not to be sad that this is the end of the episode, so... Uh, anyway, <laughs> with that, I'll see you guys next time.